Hello and welcome. My name is Daffy Roth, and this is Voice of Cars of Forsaken Maiden for the PC. In our last episode, we uh, said bed farewell to the Azure Maiden, and I suppose set uh, Hyde free of his service. Um, and uh, his hatred, maybe? I don't know. Um, so now we're kind of in the interlude here. We're, or, uh, intermission anyways. Uh, so we're going to be heading out to find the next one. Um, Hero? Isle of Heroes or something? It was like that? I don't, I don't remember exactly. But, uh, that's where our next destination is. But this is all going to culminate in the fact that, uh, at some point we are going to bid farewell to Lati as well. Apparently they have to sacrifice themselves in order to protect their islands um so there's that um avatar actually we're gonna stick with that one uh card face we're gonna go with uh eight bits or the pixel art anyways card backs go with Eora, why not Battleborn. Um, I'm fine with the copy city for right now. Uh, I really want to try this one out. So dice. Let's go to the automa dice. And background music. Let's go back to the original. All right, so with that being said, friends, let's go ahead and jump back in into the world of the Forsaken Maiden and uh, forge on to our next destination. Magnificent. Need to buy some, uh, the village gets so quiet without the maiden here, he says sadly. Yeah, I bet she gazes intently into the crystal ball. The next maiden will be, she says haltingly, choking back tears. I too ought to live my life the way I want, she whispers to herself. When will the maiden come back to our village? The young boy asks himself, diligently folding paper into a gift for her. The man gazes out at the sea, his fishing seemingly forgotten. Thank you. 
I'm gonna try something real quick, but I will be right back. All right, and I'm back about mm, two hours later. Um, basically, what I did was uh, I just played the parlor until I got all the unlocks. So, so that is done. All right, and we're back after about an hour. Uh, what I did was is I went back and uh, I just did the game further until I got all the unlocks. So I don't have to worry about that. It's basically we just need to play. Uh, my guess is the game in every every place in order to unlock his backside story. So, but uh, yeah, with that we need to stop at the item shop. Oh, because we need some Omnisols. I think we're good there. Anymore? Anything new? No, that's expensive. Hoping something. All right, where are we headed to now? It appears the sea has undergone a change while you were adventuring with the Azure Maiden. The route to the Western Seas has opened. Now you can look for a way onto the isle where the Maiden lives. Venture west on the sea and search for the entrance to the island. It's undergone a change. Ah, there I see. Other than that, it all remains the same. Let's just start here. To see at last. Oops. Nope, nope. <laughs> Stop right. Yeah, quiet. Not sure if these are new enemies or not. Pure target of any elemental. That's what he's got. That's the one that I can. I need to switch out one for our. Excellent. Oh. Super duper attack. Uh, we were able to get the link attack.
right, we do have this one. Don't have that one. Uh, Poltergeist, an unfortunate roaming spirit co-opted by evil forces. These creatures descend upon humans in hopes of dragging them back to the dilapidated homes that are their lairs. Alright, so we do have new enemies. Okay. I want to go crabbing. That is a chest. You spot something blown into the sky from Will Spout. It looks like it might fall this way, but it's hard to make out with the sun behind it. What will you do? We will dodge it. You steer the boat out of the falling object's trajectory. Oh. It hits the water and sinks below the waves. Oh, well, it was a chest. Oi, matey. Oh, excuse me. You, you can't go into an island while you're still on your... What it is. Fight him off. As before, we're gonna explore the ocean and the boundaries thereof. My hope is we can get that. Ah, uh, the great open sea! Huzzah! An enemy. You spot something blow down in the sky with a whale spout. Looks like it might fall this way, but it's hard to make out because some behind it. Do this is my sword. You hurriedly draw your sword to strike the falling object. It turns out that it was a monster. The blow you struck has it disoriented. It immediately dives back into the sea and swims away, leaving behind scattering. Nothing will burn. Thank you. 
The Wizard Squire's enemy story. All right, this is a treasure chest. We'll catch it. You open your arms wide, you catch some sort of item. Ooh, look, it's the quality salve that, salve that we used earlier. I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna work on getting the uh, the poltergeist uh, backside story. Uh, so just uh, hang out. I'll be back in a moment. sword and strike it was a fish but now it's two both halves hit the water and disappear below the waves oh here we go a fisherman aboard his boat is calling for help to go crab fishing it's quite well known that fishing for crabs is a risky venture but You'll be paid handsomely if we land our haul, the fisherman coaxes. Yeah, last time we got our butts kicked, we're doing it this time. As soon as you agree to help, the fisherman instructs you. Pull up one of those nets, will you? Shell crab threatens you with foam bubbles from its mouth. It's ready for a fight. Well, here we go. Don't hold back. Oh no, I don't plan on it. Um on. First go here. Excellent. Ouch. That hit us with an Omni cell, cell now. And. Give me another. Oh, yeah. Magnificent. 
Heck yeah. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, that's not a bad haul. Everyone leveled up except for... You caught a big one. Impressed. The fisherman hands you your reward. Ho, ho, ho. All right, guys. That, there's the one I was looking for. I just need to kill, I think, one or two more Poltergeist, and then we'll we'll head we'll hit that island. Um, so yeah, I'll be uh, right back. All right. <laughs> And we finally got the Poltergeist backside story. So let's take a look at what we got. I think we have two to read. Let's see here. Uh, we have the Lizard Squire. As you would expect of lizards that walk and dress like humans, these creatures have their own unique culture and social structures. Researchers have also noticed gender roles shifting within their society, with stereotypical roles of males fight, females re rear, becoming less defined as time goes on. And then we already read the front side. Mommy, Daddy, come home. We're so hungry, and you have to be at table to feed us. Do you look like Mommy and Daddy? I can't remember. But you'll do. Just come home. We're starving. Oh, that's not creepy in the least. All right, so that's cool. We got what we needed. So now. Gotta make land. Your journey across the sea has taken you to the West Isle. On the West Isle you will hear the tale of a maiden in red. Way anchor at the West Island begin the tale of the Crimson Maiden. Well, I thought you would never ask. Very well then. Prepare to go ashore. The West Isle's parched, russet-colored expanse greets you. The bones of weaker travelers strewn about it as both welcome and warning. The Tale of the Crimson Maiden. You dock your ship at the pier and set foot ashore. Laddie takes a deep bow in the direction of the Bon Fon, as if thanking it for safely delivering everyone to land. You consult your navigation map once more to confirm your location, and resolve to head through the gorge toward Hero's Dominion. Leave the west out here and proceed through the gorge towards the Hero's Dominion. I assume we're going to get new enemies here. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> no, not with the way these things are hitting.
Laddie appears to have found something on the roadside. You look where she is pointing and spot a small drawstring pouch lying on the ground. Inside the pouch is a simple but beautiful necklace. Laddie's eyes light up at the sight of it. You gently place the necklace around Laddie's neck. Though she initially looks confused, when you say, it looks nice on you, her cheeks flush slightly and she smiles. You can check the simple necklace anytime Max in the key menu snack. You know what's going to happen? Is someone's going to see that and be like, gosh, mine! And the key items, though. Simple computer now, cats, all it says. Fortune favors the bull. appears. The brigand points at Laddie's simple necklace and yells, give that back. He continues, insisting in a rather courteous tone. That necklace was something I stole from an accessory shop in Hero's Dominion. As the thief would have you believe, he pilfered the bauble from the shop and then dropped it in the midst of his escape. He's been looking for it ever since. He grabs for it and tries to wrench it off Laddie's throat. You've no choice but to fight to defend your ally. Fight him off. Excellent. Not every day you get attacked by a stuffed animal. 
and struck by lightning on top of it. You look down at the thief, splayed flat on the ground, and say a few words of admonishment. If you take anything away from this, let it be that you should stop plying the pilfering trade. The brigand seems to regret what he's done and cries back. Please listen. I want to return the stolen necklace to the shop I took it from. I mean, do I want to err on the right side? Baron's going to be ignorant and think that he's going to turn you a new believe leaf. The thief's tears of regret are genuine. So you take the simple necklace from Laddie and hand it over. The thief bows his head deeply and then heads off in the direction of Hero's Dominion. You happen to look down and spot a dingy charm on the ground. It seems the thief dropped it as he left. On the back of the charm is a child's writing. Daddy, do your best at work. Kind of prone to dropping things, isn't he, you utter, somewhat flabbergasted, as you slip the charm into your pack. A bizarre rock appears. It seems primed to explode. Oh, trying to transform into a treasure rock. Well, I mean, we're out of those anyways. Out of nowhere, a sweet fragrance wafts over you. The cups see ripe fruit in the tree above. There's a reasonably sized stone at your feet. Precise pitch at the tree's bow could knock some fruit loose. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't think it's turned out right so far. All right. Come on, three or four. Nope, we missed completely. Your pitch fails to even reach its target. You leave the area hoping to hide your embarrassment. Either we smack it really hard or we dismiss. You come across an open air stall. A sign reads, huge sale. Huge, huge. As you peer into the stall, a merchant whirls around to greet you. He explains that everything is on sale, and he hopes you'll buy something. It seems he'll get in trouble with his boss if he brings back any goods unsold. Sale! Let's see here. How many of these do we have right now? I'll buy one more. And let's see what else. The peddler is closing up the stall to head back to his boss. See you another time, he says. You cannot shop here anymore.
way he says that's like you're not welcome here anymore you make your way through the gorge its walls of russet stone towering above you it too is littered with the bones of fallen warriors and their sandblasted blades unnerved you steal only brief glances at them as you charge ahead but you notice Laddie regards them with a certain sadness. No one says a word. Isn't that the Dominion? Lack chirps from its resting place in Laddie's hood, breaking the silence. Indeed, the gorge gives way to a large basin, at the center of which presumably lies Hero's Dominion. Laddie wipes the sweat from her brow and shuffles toward a nearby rock to sit down. Stop! That's a monster, you shout. Too late to prevent it from attacking poor Laddie. In one swift blow, a wild-eyed boy strikes the monster down. Y'all right? He barks, turning to Laddie. Unfortunately, it seems the enemy was not alone. More of them appear behind you, closing in fast. A man's voice emerges from the helmet and suit of armor before you. Those worthy of being maiden must never let their guard down, Lavia, it chides. I know, Gladio. I know, the boy grimaces. What luck! It appears you've bumped into the Crimson Maiden completely by chance, which would make this Gladio fellow, in all the armor, the Crimson Attendant. This is all terribly convenient. You thank the duo for saving Laddie, and explain that you will have need of the Maiden's relic if they'd be so kind as to lend it to you. The Crimson Maiden appears startled by your sudden request. Apologies, but we're in a hurry, he says curtly. Apparently, a foul beast the Dominion uses for blood sport has escaped, and it has fallen to the Crimson Maiden to recapture it. Unwilling to let these two out of your sight after such a fortuitous meeting, you agree to help them track the beast down. Ia and Gladio had joined your party, like as long as we're in both battle. Scour the West Isle for the monster, the Crimson Maiden, and a tendency. Um, I gotta look this up, because can a male be a maiden? Huh. Interesting. So basically, may and just means virgin. So it can mean it's both used for male and female. So that brings up the question as far as the the azure maiden, and like while they were lovers, they ever not consummate that love. A well-to-do looking old man appears before you. It's the man who challenged you to a game of dice. Care to try your luck again? He challenges you. You decide to tempt fortune. The rules are the same as last time. If you can roll the designated pips or higher, you win the prize at no cost. Likewise, if you roll lower, you'll have to buy the prize at more than its intended value. Now then, let's begin. Today's prize is... The old man pulls something from his bag. Hmm. Ready. You take a die from the old man and give it a squeeze. It's do or die. How much do I have to roll? Alas. Fortune does not smile upon you. Oh, I have to buy it. You take your choice. prize and austerely hand the old man his payment. 
a stinging transaction. I'm raking it in, the old man laughs as he wanders off to parts unknown. Eh, I don't care. I still got it. Uh, I actually, it's, I don't think it's even that bad. Be a, a need for it later, but for now we'll. I right, we gotta load these guys up. This rings of protection. Next game, we'll we'll get the normal ones so we can just look, see what they look like. This must be a Stila of the Isle's guardian spirit. come across an open-air stall. A sign reads, Goods bought here. As you peer into the stall, its proprietress calls out to you. This is an exchange shop. We'll pay good money for whatever you have. But this determines the price, she continues, revealing the die in her hand. I sell the maiden hydraulic. They called the cell. I have a lot of spear elixirs. Yeah, it's okay. It seems she's finished buying for the day. The proprietress begins closing up shop, and you go on your way. Out of the west out for the monster, the crimson maiden in attendance. I think we're. You find a beast lurking in the shadows of the valley, but it does not appear to be the one that the crimson maiden is searching for. It glares at you. Seems you're not getting out of this without a fight. Carnage. It deals 25 damage. If 
Girl speed are higher. Other cross. Oh, nice. He's a, he's like a he's like a tank. Magnificent. The sprite kind of looks like Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> yep, miss, just like Anakin would too. Oof. Oh man. Your stance keeps slipping. Gladio hisses at Lavia as soon as the final blow's been struck. Sorry, Lavia shoots back and resumes scanning the area for monsters. To fulfill the necessary requirements, unlock the Umbral Goblin's enemy story. Maybe these were new monsters. Umbral Goblin. Here we see the goblins in their natural habitat having a game of who can hit the farthest. First goblin heaves a ball to second, who swats it away with a large club. Alas, the ball is now broken, deformed beyond recognition, and so the goblins venture dutifully into human territory and search for a fresh one. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of funny. I think we got this one, yeah? No, we don't have Taurus. Alright, well, that's another one we'll have to get. But of course, I know we don't have that one. Bizarre rock appears to seem primed to explode. The bizarre rock transformed to a fear rock and the way out of this fight is through it. Don't hold back. Well, first we need to actually Resistant. Oh no. Oh, you know actually how I killed that is I don't have of anymore. The uh crap. Um poison thing. That's why I paralyze it. We'll just nickel and dime them down. I 
don't think magic does anything either. Yeah, thank you. I, I think I figured that out. Appreciate that. Taking you with me. No. Ooh, we got the Fear Rocks enemy story. Uh, let's wrap up this first, though. Let's go here. You find a beast huddled in a small burrow in the rock wall but it does not appear to be the one that the Crimson Maiden is searching for. Nevertheless, it is not happy to have an intruder in its home and attacks. The party readies for battle. Well, that's a crappy and half a fight. stance card. I feel bad for it. <laughs> it's about to get owned. Yeah. Oof. Man, he came back hard. Excellent. You find a beast and immediately raise your sword to it, but it does not so much as flinch. Upon further inspection, it looks like a falling rock or something has crushed the poor creature's life right out of it. It's dead, Lavia says flatly. Lack and Laddie suddenly exhale, hands pressed to their chests in relief. Gladio, sensing an imminent threat, tells everyone to be on their guard. The clanking of heavy chains precedes the appearance of a massive beast. Blood drips from the iron hammers clutched in its fists. The party grips their own weapons ever tighter, fighting their own looming sense of fear.
Defend me, he yells, cry, er, heal me, he cries out. I shall defend. See their thing here. Carnage? Why not? Rear higher, come on. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's pretty cool how the cars like join together. And he's just We'll take care of him here. Or not? Maiden launches one last attack as his attendant strikes the beast with the pommel of his sword. At last, the feral fiend falls silent. Lack and Laddie break out into a round of applause, which Lavia greets with a smile and a playful swipe of his nose. We're not done, Gladio reminds the party. He binds the beast in chains, hoists it up with one hand, and carries it back toward the Dominion. You never did get to ask about the Maiden's Relic in the end. You follow them back to Hero's Dominion in hopes of rectifying that oversight. The arena monster that escaped Hero's Dominion. The Relic is reacting to Lavia's bravery. Lavia's Crimson Maiden Relic transformed into the Crimson Memory Relic. Alright, I'm going to be right back. Uh, I mean, this is pretty much the end of the video, but I'm going to see if I can't get the... Uh, um, 
that monster's uh, flip side story. So I'll be right back in just a second. All right, and we're back. I got the Taurus's enemy story. It happens to be right outside the city. So let's go ahead and take it. I know we got, what, one or two of them? Or maybe not. Maybe it was just this one. Well, actually, let's do characters. A young boy known as, Cr as a Crimson Maiden in the Heroes of Maine. He prefers his clothes light and his look conducive to fighting and throws himself into battle dressed just so. Gladio, a man in his prime who serves a Crimson Maiden, armored from head to toe, his skills are reputed to be the fruit of many years experience, and he is respected and feared by all in the land. All right, let's take a look at monsters. What do we got? I do need to probably buy, invest in some of the items at some point. Clang, clang, clang. The orc looks up from his smithing and briefly wonders just how long he has been at this crap. Well enough to have a reputation anyways. He continues pondering how much blood has have this have his weapons spilled. War begets weapons begets war. A vicious cycle. He lowers his head. That's enough for now. Clang clang clang. This horse doesn't work, huh? I think that was it. Oh. The fear rock, that's the one that we got. The children were long dead by the time help arrived, but their would-be saviors would still hear their cries echoing through the tunnel. Well, that's terrible, actually. But uh, with that being said, we're going to call this an episode here. Uh, in our next episode, we're going to head into Heroes the Main Proper, do some shopping, and see what uh, our quest is for here. But uh, in the meantime, I appreciate you hanging out with me. It means a lot that you chose to spend this time watching this video because uh, your time is valuable and I try not to waste it. So with that being said, friends, um, until we meet again, may always follow your heart and stay true to yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe out there. Bye bye.